Hi friend, here is a TTK bootstrap window with four buttons and different styles are used and here whenever I place a mouse over it, the respective help text or the tooltip displays and it stops once I moves out of the uh, button. Similarly, here I am placing and you can see the in a different style, the tooltip is displayed. Here also one more style and here it's on one more style and here I can wrap the text and go to the next line also. And we have some how to stop showing it, hide and so all the methods are there. We'll learn all about this. We'll start from here. So this is our uh, we are importing TTK bootstrap then some constants we are importing because we will be using for our color styles and all and then the window we have created and here is the width is 500 and height is 200. You can change these figures. Now we will import our tooltip. So we will say from TTK <coughs> bootstrap now here to bootstrap dot tooltip tooltip now import tooltip so now it is available for us now <coughs> in this four buttons are we have placed we have seen i will just paste the codes for the four buttons instead of writing there is nothing to be done only the placing the four buttons here and i have used the grid layout row two in a single row we have placed all and column 1 then next button column 2 next column 3 4 because one is right of it and here you can see the boot style I have used different different styles we have already discussed in pre our previous uh, tutorials about how what are the styles how we can use it so this boot style parameter we have used and, and this is because this warning I am using because I have imported all the constants here at line number 2 so now let's move and add the tooltips against each button Note that tooltip is associated with the widget. So our tooltip 1, the first tooltip uh, equal to, I am just writing tooltip, then which button? See it is not parent window, it is the B1, the button I am specifying. B1 is my first button. So some text, uh, because tooltip is for text only, I will write it, this is to start. You can write any text because B1, the text I have written is the start, this is the start button. So I have given this is to start. Then the boot style. Boot style, this I can specify the boot style, whatever it is. So I am giving it info, sorry, info and it is in inverse. So you can see the difference there. Inverse. So that's all. This tooltip is ready. Now let me just copy this one, paste it, this is the second, this is the third, this is the fourth. So second one, TT2, tooltip, now it will be connected to B2. Now the message is this is to stop, the this is to stop. Now I will go without inverse, I will place it danger, means the red color will come. So the inverse I am removing. So you can see what's the difference it is. <coughs> now let's come here. This is TT3. Now this will connect to our third button. That what text you want to display it here? Jump the project. It's to jump or whatever you want to write it, write it here. Jump the book. Then boot style is success. We'll give a different uh, different style. There are a list of eight different styles are available. So one of them um, you are using success. And here let it be inverse. Now let us come here. This is fourth one. So this connect to button four. Now this is uh, this is reset the project to. or anything you want you can write it but here one more parameter I will use it I will say wrap length equal to 100 so this I am saying so the text you wrap it don't put it in the next line after beyond 100 so boot style I am saying secondary so that gray color one will come so that's all so let's just, uh, we can 
run this now let's run and see here okay fine was this this is to start now this is to stop see the, the, the inverse one we have removed here so that's why it is not taking the inverse and simple the message it is giving now here it is the jump and here it is the reset see the line break is it's it's not in one line now now it is in the two lines so this is how the all the tool tips and moment the mouse is out this is removed check this window here we have a start button to start the our float gauge and it it continues and it different different color sets it takes i can stop it also different buttons are used for different purposes this entire thing we have discussed already just before one we, tutorial we have created this one you can watch the tutorial and uh, uh, in in this series only this was included now what you will do will here you have added the tool tips also that what we are discussed now so these tool tips one of the tool tip will start will try to restrict it means based on this progress will show the tool tip and will stop the tool tip also during this uh, tutorial we have discussed how this colors are changing based on the value of the flood uh, flood gauge variable so here inside when it is within the 25 range less than 25 that means in the uh, it is in the zone what is the start zone here we will introduce that our uh, so tips so whenever it starts less than 25 so ttk1 dot so now this we are starting it and let it stop once it is cross 25 once uh, once it is within 50 it comes so it progressively increases so beyond 25 when it is less than 50 it comes means it cross 25 that time it will be it should stop so for that tt1 dot hide tip so we have so tip and high tip tt1 is the here it is tool tip 1 we have connected to our first button b1 is the start button i am just saving this let's run and see how this work here it is i am putting the mouse here so tool tip is already there now let's click the start button it has stopped showing it because it has crossed the 50 now again it will appear because yes it has appeared i place the left the mouse there so it it appeared and it is stopping the tool tip is stopping once the value crosses 50 again it will start once it comes back here it is so this is how tool tip can be used and if you have any doubt suggestion question use the comment section below to post it i'll request you please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon so you'll be notified as and when we add new new tutorials we frequently do that also and i request you please share this with your friends and thank you for watching